Should you summon on this banner as a free-to-play player? Yes, but only a little and only if you have the stones to spare. Welcome to Should You Summon, the series where we take a look at new banners, analyze their value, and I tell you whether or not I think you should summon on them. Now we mainly look at these banners from a free-to-play standpoint as free-to-play players need to be careful with how they use their stones, but of course banner value applies to dolphins and whales too. But with all that being said, my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and let's get started. So speaking from a purely banner value perspective, Guaranteed Featured SSR elevates this banner to be a pretty decent value for your stones. With Guaranteed Featured, it's really hard to be actually shafted, and with 6 out of the 9 units being great, you've got a 78% chance to get one of the good ones. Now, Cumbria here has a giant form and a 40% chance to stun all super type enemies whenever he gets hit. Super Fu has the 120% leader skill for Dragon Ball Hero units, and has up to a 40% chance to dodge when you have 4 time traveler allies on your team. Golden Cooler is objectively badass and also gives allies key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 20%. These guys don't have Doken Awakenings yet, so we don't really care about them. SS3 Goku guards against all attacks and has up to a 35% damage reduction when you have 5 other Dragon Ball Heroes units on the team. SS3 Vegeta disables guard and has up to a 35% crit chance when you have 5 other Dragon Ball Hero units on the team. And Supreme Objectified of Time gives all allies key plus 3, attack and defense 30%, and then an additional chance to increase attack and defense by 12% each. So that's pretty darn good and a fantastic support on whatever teams that she actually fits on. Now, blue coins are a bummer and another reason why I think you should only do 1-3 to three multis. There's not really a good use for blue coins right now, so stocking up on those is a bad idea. However, these units are also limited to the Heroes Banner, and once they aren't featured, it can be difficult to get them again as the Heroes Banner has only a 3% chance of unfeatured SSRs. Now, unfortunately, the timing of this hits a lot of players pretty hard as the guaranteed LR Banner just came out and took 600 of our stones, so many people may be recovering. I think if you have 100 stones or less, skip this banner. If you have more than that, maybe go 1-3 to three multis, but this banner is not worth going deep on. These units are cool, exclusive, and of course good units, but get in, get out, and don't go back in on this banner. Now, am I summoning on my account? No. As you can see, I'm barely recovering after the step up. I only have 41 stones right now. I also do have these units on my JP account, so I'm okay to just use them there. However, I will have the last round of my global step up summons coming this weekend, as well as a big weekend ticket summon video next week. So stay tuned for those and let me know if you did decide to summon and if you're happy with what you got. All that being said, my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and I hope you have a good day, good week, good life. Now, goodbye. P.S. Don't forget to like and subscribe.